Do you know what dementia is? I mean, I've heard of the word, I just don't know what it means. Do you know what dementia is? Dementia is a word we give to a set of symptoms affecting different aspects of thinking and brain function. Vascular dementia. A common form of dementia caused by an impaired supply of blood to the brain. Alzheimer's. A progressive mental deterioration that can occur in old age. Parkinson's disease. Oh. It's a progressive disease of the nervous system, marked by tremor, muscular rigidity, and slow, imprecise movement. There's also a film called Still Alice that looks into a middle-aged woman's life with dementia. It's a fictional story, but it still brings a huge message that dementia is becoming more and more common and we need to be more aware of it. One in three people born in the UK this year will develop dementia in their lifetime. There are 850,000 people with dementia in the UK. This will increase to over 1 million by 2050. So when I was about five, my granddad got diagnosed with dementia and vascular dementia and Alzheimer's. And it was quite hard growing up when he was suffering with these illnesses. Because um, I was so young when he got it, I didn't really remember any memories with him. I only remember like really vivid memories. What he used to do to my granddad is it used to like make him go on walks and not know where he's going. Um, he wouldn't remember who some people are. And that made it quite difficult because we'd always have that that um, fear on our mind that he'd go missing and he'd never come back. And then when I was, I don't know how old I was, but I was older, um, he went on a walk in the middle of the night and he didn't come back for 28 hours. And he went to, he walked to Barnet and he got found there by a passerby. He only had one shoe on. And it was a February, so... Um, he got sent to hospital. It was all over the news and everything. He got sent to hospital. Um, he was hypothermic. And then after that, my nan realised that I got to do something. That she had to do something about it. So then she put him into a care home, and um, he was in a care home for five, six years. And then he sadly passed away. It got to the point where he didn't know how to eat by himself. Um, he didn't know how to use a toilet and in the end he was just dependent on all the carers and the nurses around him and everyone around him. So I'd go on his birthday or just when I'd go and see him and I'd feed him and it was quite nice to spend time with him because I was one of the people he recognised and that felt good but yeah, it's just sad that he had to go through his whole life suffering with dementia and Alzheimer's because it just truly ruins your life and no one should have to go through it. My nan was put in a care home in 2017. She got moved twice. The first time was because of how the staff treated her and how they didn't feed her. And the second time was because emotionally manipulated her. Um, she's in another care home now and they're treating her well. But we had to clean out her house and I couldn't go to that because it was too hard for me. Um, she's on the final stage of dementia, I think, and she has been for a while. I haven't been able to go see her, that's how I've been coping, because I can't see her in that way. Can you remember when Grandad first started showing signs of dementia? Well, I can't remember exactly when, but one of the first signs of dementia is the person keeps asking the, asking the same question over and over and over again. But in 2007, we were on holiday in Portugal with our friends Dan and Jeff who were living there. And Grandad was really acting quite strangely one day. When he came up to bed, he said to me, what's happening to me, Pam? I don't know where I am. So I told him we were at Dan and Jeff's house in Portugal, but he couldn't understand me. The next day we went out for the day and um, he was very nervous and kept close to me all the time. We kept an eye on him. We wondered if he might have had a mini stroke. How did it affect your everyday life? 
Well, first of all, I could go off, I could leave him. I even went back to work sometimes if they needed a secretary for a while. But then it got to the point where he would get quite anxious if I was gone for too long. He would be sitting looking out the window waiting for me to come home. So I decided not to work anymore. What was the hardest thing to cope with? Well, I suppose there were several, but one of the hardest was when he started walking. He always liked to walk, but sometimes he'd go for a walk and we'd gone for a long time. And a few times we had to um, call the police to find him. He, he did have a tracker in his pocket, which meant that we could look on the computer. We could find out exactly where he was. Um, sometimes I'd go out to find him, but the police told me that I shouldn't do that because if I had an accident, then there'd be two of us missing. So I was to stay at home, ring the police, and then they could check on the tracker exactly where he was and bring him home. Effects and changes of the personality with someone suffering from dementia. As the dementia gets worse, their personality changes. Um, they can get to the stage where they refuse to wash or bath or shower, refuse to change their clothes, um, could sleep during the day and be awake at night, which is very difficult for the carer because the carer doesn't get much sleep. There, there can be very worrying changes in behaviour like um, putting an electric kettle on, on the gas stove, um, trying, trying to do ironing with the kettle. And if it comes to the point where they go into care, they can become very aggressive towards the carers, very difficult to wash and to change their clothes. Um, in particular trying to get out, causing damage by trying to get out of the building. So that's what dementia is? Yeah, I think it's important that other people should know that. Just remember, if you see anyone in the street that looks confused or has any of the symptoms that have been stated in this video, make sure you go over and help them. Because at the end of the day, we're a community. And I know it doesn't happen these days, but we're meant to be there for each other. I'm meant to help each other whenever we need help. And people with dementia especially need your help.